Hi guys. So I have a a little summer design um, that I saw on Instagram that I thought I would recreate. It um it reminded me of a design I did near Christmas. Um, you know, one of the, like the quick simple art videos with like the coloured stripes. And I really liked that one and in my head that was, you know, Christmas design. But this lady um, pointed out to me through their own pictures um, that I could use it any time of the year. But you know when something's just like put in a box and in that box that said Christmas. So I'm using this as my nude because it looks like these are done on acrylics. So this is that beautiful Irish cream by Aviva Pro Gel that I've been liking. So those are the two I'm going to do my designs on. Now, this lady's design was done in blue, pink, and yellow. Um, however, I don't have all of those shades in pastels. I have a full set of like neon, I'd call them neon pastels, so they're like really bright. But I kind of wanted it muted, like not. I wanted it more pastel-y. Um, so we are using a bunch of different colours. This lilac is oh my god, and that is by CJP or OMG anyway. Um, this one is Alice Blue by Glitterama. Take some of that off. So it is another early video this morning while the house is quiet. It is half past six on a Sunday morning and I am wide awake. And this one is Entity. I've not actually used this yet. Um, Statement bag, I believe is the color. This came in one of my nail mailboxes. Um, it's just a color I've not got around to using, but it was the nicest pastel green I could find. and. This is like a super, I mean super, watery formula, but as you just saw, it covers really, really easily, which was kind of surprising. Um, I've already dotted some out on my palette. See, I was going to use yellow, which was like a daffodil one by CJP, but it just didn't fit in with the other colours. Um, and then I am just going to need a dotting tool and fine liners and either white gel polish or a gel paint. Um, I think because I have it next to me, I am going to use gel paint. Um, and I am going to second cut, not, I'm not going to second cut these, I'm going to second coat these. And then I'll be back with you. And there we are, that is two coats and all cured. Now, these three, oh, sorry. These three, I am going to move over there. I actually just need to matte coat those and they're done. Now, the original design for this is actually um, done on quite long nails. But I was wanting to do them on slightly shorter so we can see what they look like. And because not everybody really has... I am just trying to zoom you in, but it's saying new. Not everybody has long nails. But if you recall when I was doing these. Mm, 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 mm. Just deciding where I'm doing it. We're gonna have a stripe here. It was the stripey nails, where you do your color and then you just drag some of it down. And for reference, using a thicker brush than I currently am, would probably do you multiple favors multiple favors and then we just drag ourselves some lines down just some random little lines and then I'm just gonna flash cure that one just so it doesn't mix in with anything else and make a mess and I'm just gonna dig out my thick brush Got one. I'm actually going to try the um, 
the new one that I got in my recent nail mailbox. So this one has not had any use before, so we will see how it does. But it's just a case. I mean, you could honestly just colour it in with the fine liner. You know, the entire, the entire lot. Maybe I should have left that wet and I could have blended it a little. That might have looked nice. It's still not zooming in, okay. What an ass. Okay, and then we will go in here with the green. Didn't put as much green on because out of the colors, I prefer the purple and the blue. So I'm just kind of keeping that one to the side a little bit. But just drag those lines down to where you want them and then here. This time I'm keeping them higher up. This is just out of pure curiosity. And then dragging. And so they can mix a little while they're up here. I also had a thought of actually just grabbing an ombre brush and dragging down with that and seeing what it looked like. Hmm. Hold that thought. I have all my brushes in a lazy Susan right next to me now, so. Are you still in the shop? Hmm. So that on brush works. Comes down thinner. The lines, the lines come down thinner. Hmm. More like the colours kind of ran, ran all the way down the nail. Okay, so I will cure that, and I'll be back with you. Okay, so these were cured in between. You know, each colour and then use the fine liner brush. And this one was with the ombre brush. I think I prefer the ombre brush. But, I mean, I've done thick stripes there because there was thick stripes on the picture I was looking at for my inspiration. But, if you have seen it, well, even if you haven't seen mine, you've seen others. Um, oh, this is my... Matte top coat. This is my current favourite one. It's a really good one. Um, even if you haven't seen my video, you would have seen the other designs out there. So you could actually, instead of doing the chunky lines, you could just do a load of really thin ones with those colours. Because I think the Christmas one I did, um, it was more than one line of red, if you get what I mean. There, were, there was multiple stripes. Um, and even a bit of sparkle thrown in that. I mean, you could sparkle this one, really. I was just looking for a nice a nice pastel design. Now, I haven't finished on the stripy nails. But because I am choosing to use gel paint, it is a no tacky one. So I can do that afterwards. And I quite like the look of the matte nails with the shiny details so that is the look that I am going to be going for now my lovely little cat has been on my bloody desk again so now I am fishing cat hair out of my nails the joys of joys so I'm gonna cure those while those are curing I thought I would show you something cute that I've done for some of my clients so let me zoom you out. I'll see, yeah, I can zoom out, but I can't zoom in. So from Timu, not anywhere, I got some of these cute little bags. And then they had a sale on some bits. So what I got, okay, these are minier than I thought they'd be. I mean, they're tiny, but it's a mini little nail file. An orange wood stick for pressing back their cuticles and keeping on top of them. 
and then these tiny little bottles which I have filled with cuticle oil now I believe these are two mil ones I'll show you with an empty one one second now they had them in packs of like 10 like fiber or I found an offer where they were doing three for I think I paid 40 pence but either way 30 pence it worked out cheaper for me to buy multiple packs of three but yet they are little mini dropper bottles and I just thought they would make a really really cute little I don't know you know thank you for choosing me gift kind of thing and it's a way to keep on top of their nails I just looked um and they are these ones here so I got three pieces and they cost me 27 pence for each three so I ended up getting 10 of them I got a whole bunch and um, it was a good order actually I didn't have all that much nail stuff in so I didn't do an unboxing video and I just wanted it to go away but I did get this really cute he's supposed to be able to magnet his butt but he's missing his magnet but he's a little porcelain teddy bear and he's supposed to be a nail stand so I am actually going to glue glue one of my magnets to his little butt but they did refund me for that because I was quite cheesed off that was the one I was looking forward to coming the most because he's adorable but it's not often Timu have really done me dirty so okay these are the matte which I'm really liking so are you also that matte top coat by the way it's a 60 second cure and you do not have to wipe it afterwards because I know a lot of them you do so I have my metal dotting sticks and I'm just looking for the size I want because these are quite small nails so I don't want to be really big and in your face um yeah the the design I saw on Facebook just had really really cute little daisies dotted on them I'm using obviously gel paint because I wanted the contrast but you could use polish to do your dots now I'm trying for a five petal flower here but for some reason I am incapable of doing a five petal flower without it screwing up normally so most of my designs when I have dot and tool flowers on I actually only have four flowers for that reason that one doesn't suck too bad I'll deal with that one but yeah they just have some really cute little daisy prints on them and I just thought they were nice for spring because there's a lot with flowers out at the moment I don't know if you've noticed as well there's also quite a lot with um fruits and vegetables and random bits but I've seen some really cute ones there's also a lot with um, a lot with chrome. I'm really enjoying playing at the moment with the texture gel I have. You know that that one in the little pot that I like to use a lot. Um, I am enjoying playing with that and the Aurora gels. No, the Aurora chromes. I do big pattern the aurora chromes and seeing what effects i can have um i haven't done a video on that yet um i do like to try things for the first time on camera but at the minute i am enjoying just playing i want to see what i can actually achieve with them before i share this time and see how i can do but it is a lot of fun have any of you seen the um the ones where it's like fish and they look almost 3D because it's different layers of different layers of the chrome and the aurora. Well actually I've seen it with normal chrome as well. I am just gonna put that one into nuke as well. Um and the effects have looked really, really good. And it gives the designs so much depth, it's unbelievable. It looks like somebody's actually just stuck like a 3D sticker on there. So I have some yellow gel paint just for the center of my flowers. But again, you can use gel polish. You would just have to top coat afterwards. And if you wanted like the, the 
the contrast between shiny and not you could always gel paint your just you no know, gel polish your flowers you know after matte top coating like I did and then just go over go over the flowers afterwards with with a top coat you just have to be careful not to get it on the rest of the nails okay so this is what we look like this morning so we have my purple my blue and my green so those colors work quite well and it is quite a nice quite a nice shorty design as well so it can be done on long nails and short nails because let me zoom you out that is the original picture I was working from and it's manicure secret nail but they're quite long so I had to go on the shorties but yeah and I like the contrast between the shiny flowers and the, the matte colours I do think I prefer the one I did with the ombre brush that's this one but thank you for watching guys um, please leave a like if you've enjoyed um, it helps my channel grow and it helps me know you're enjoying what I'm actually putting out there and if you haven't already please do subscribe um, I have a goal this year to reach a thousand subscribers um, not quite there yet but I do still have half a year to go so fingers crossed and hopefully it'll happen but thank you all for watching and I will have some more videos up for you soon with some more, more spring designs. Um, yeah, thanks guys. Bye.